Crystal Stewart definitely had what it takes, and her life changed when she was crowned as the ninth Miss USA from Texas. Remember, she competed five times before she won Miss Texas USA. Let's catch up with Crystal right now and see just how she feels about that experience. I think I've learned so much in the pageant industry. I've learned, I enhanced my communication skills. I've learned how to do makeup, how to style hair. I know how to communicate with people now from different nationalities, backgrounds, from the president to children with autism. I've learned so much through pageantry. I do not regret competing in Miss Texas USA five times at all. My first pageant was in 2001 and it was such an amazing experience. It was the Miss Houston USA pageant and I was a swimsuit winner and third runner up. My first competition at Miss Texas USA, I was top 12, which was great for me, perfectly fine. The second year I was third runner up and then I moved up to first runner up. But not only first runner up one time, I was first runner up twice. So the next year I came back, I didn't win. And then fortunately I captured the Miss Texas USA crown and now I can say that I'm Miss USA. The first time I was first runner up, it was actually a very good feeling. I thought I was close to my dream as Miss Texas USA. I'm standing next to a beautiful woman. She just won, that's fine. I can come back next year and possibly be Miss Texas USA. That's what was going through my head. When I was first runner up for the second time, it was actually a bittersweet moment for me. It was bitter because I lost, but it was sweet because a good friend of mine won. Southeast Texas, Miss Houston, Megan Ellis, you are the new USA. I would go home disappointed, but this time it was just a little worse because I didn't feel, I didn't know what to do differently. I felt that I gave it my all, I did my best, and that's all I could ask myself. So I remember riding home from Laredo and talking to my mother, and she told me, Crystal, I totally understand if you don't want to compete again. If, that's, if you don't think it's for you, fine. But if you're scared, if you're scared, you need to go pick up a gown right now and go compete at Miss Texas USA. When I won the Miss Texas USA pageant, it was a surreal experience for me. I think um, it was almost better than winning Miss USA, I'm gonna be honest, because I waited so long for it. When I finally won, I just let it loose. I was like, okay, my job is done. I was jumping up and down, my earrings fell, and I was like, oh, what the heck? And I wanted to, I walked down the aisle, slapping people's hand like I was a basketball player. <laughs> that just won the championship. I just felt good and I felt there was so many people there that were supportive that had been there with me and I just, it was a big hurrah for everybody. What was going through my mind, I was standing there with Miss Mississippi and I said, you know what, I've been in this spot before, I've been first run up, you never know what could happen, but I gave it my all, I did my best. This is great to even be standing up here. When they call Mississippi as first runner up and I, Crystal Stewart, Texas, as Miss USA, I was in complete shock. Because on my first attempt, not my fifth attempt, my first attempt for the Miss USA title, I won. My dream became a reality. I was living my dream as Miss USA 2008. Right after I won Miss USA, I went on a media tour. And so I went to all these talk shows, Bridges and Kelly, the Today Show, the Tyra Banks, and it was just a, a great experience. So people could really see who I am, Crystal Stewart versus Miss USA. And the modeling, I actually have a national campaign for Why My Jeans, so I have a huge billboard up in New York City soon. So I'm excited about all the things to come. Actually, it was very intimidating coming from Texas. You know, the Texas charm, my model is the friendly state. And then coming to New York, when everyone's really busy, they usually you know don't have too many smiles on their face, but I've learned actually to love New York. The people are really nice. Anytime I needed directions or something somewhere, I would pull someone to the side and they were very happy to help me. So my New York life has been great. It's a big difference, but it's great. Actually, I took away three things from competing in the pageant. Patience, perseverance, and persistence. And you wouldn't think you would learn that in, in the pageant industry, but it took me five years to win Miss Texas USA. And it taught me these three things. It taught me how to set a goal and how to work really, really hard to achieve it. So when people say pageants give you nothing, it absolutely gave me everything. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. The competition is broken down into three parts. Um, interview, it's done behind closed doors. So the 200 women that are competing all do an interview. 
And the next day, the second part of competition is swimsuit. So everyone gets to do swimsuit and then evening gown. Everyone gets to do evening gown. So that's the preliminary show the next day after the interviews. And then the final show, almost immediately, they make a huge cut to 20 women. So that final show is essentially just focused on these 20 women competing in swimsuit, competing in evening gown. Then they cut it to five. And then you answer like a super political question on stage out of a fishbowl. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be Whisper words of wisdom, let it be Broken-hearted people living in the world agree There will be an answer, let it be For though they may be parted There is still a chance that they will see There will be an answer, let it be Let it be, let it be She said, I'm representing North Oklahoma City. Um, I'm a vegan chef here in the city, so if you need any help with that, hit me up. Um, I have my own garden, and I just love all things pageants. So I'm really excited to get to talk to you today a little bit about my pageant journey and, you know, the past year. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be And in my hour of darkness She is standing right in front of me 
Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. Broken hearted people living in the world agree there will be an answer. Let it be. For though they may be parted, there is still a chance that they will see. There will be an answer. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Yeah, there will be an answer. Let it be. 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 Whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. wellness in Baton Rouge and Denham Springs. Just wanted to let you know we're reopening Friday, May 15th with our regular hours. We've deep cleaned everything at each gym. Take a look at these guys fogging with disinfectant to kill the germs. Also, our employees will be wearing masks for your safety and we have sanitation stations set up all around each facility for your convenience. When I find myself in times of trouble Mother Mary comes to me Speaking words of wisdom Let it be And in my hour of darkness She is standing right in front of me Speaking words of wisdom Let it be let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be Whisper words of wisdom, let it be Broken hearted people living in the world agree There will be an answer, let it be For though they may be parted There is still a chance that they will see There will be an answer, let it be Let it be, let it be Yeah, there will be an answer Let it be 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 Whisper words of wisdom Let it 
Yeah, let it be. 